Hi everyone, this is Rebecca, the Legal Fellow here at Positive Women's Network. Um, I'm here to give a very brief and quick walkthrough of how to use Legiscan. Legiscan is a bill tracking website. Um, it's a pretty easy to use, um, completely free platform um, that I personally find really helpful. So I hope that you will all be able to uh, incorporate it to meet your advocacy needs as well. So to kind of walk through as an introduction to Legiscan, um, it has several levels of accessibility. Um, we're gonna be sticking with the one vote level, which is completely free. Uh, there are some limits. Um, it caps you at the total number of bills you can monitor, which is 25, um, which I think for the most part will probably uh, be a pretty reasonable amount um, and allows you to track um, updates from your home state as well as uh, federal bills going through Congress. Um, and generally, um, these other limits shouldn't really be too much of a barrier. There really should be no reason um, that you would ever have to upgrade to full. So how to get started on Legiscan is if you go onto the main page, um, it is just legiscan.com. Um, you click the free registration button and just go ahead and fill it out, username, email, password, etc. Make sure you choose the one vote uh, dash forever free account type. Um, you can choose your home state. Um, you um, can also do a searches for bills from other states later on, but for right now, um, choose and set your home state just for this registration process. Um, you click the I'm not a robot and I have read and agree with the terms of service and you create a new account. They will send a, a confirmation email to you. Um, just be sure to go into your email and click the validation link. That will give you full access to use Legiscan. Um, so make sure you do that as a first step before you dig into any of the other features. And then once you have an account all set and ready to go, um, you can just log in. And I'll go ahead and log in with my info here just to give you an example. So I'll start off by the dashboard and you can navigate using this menu on the far left. But the dashboard is really gonna be your home page. It's gonna give you your home legislature, um, what session you're in, information. It's gonna give you the bills that you're tracking under your bills. It'll also show you what um, are the most recent active bills in your state as well. Um, as well as the top sponsors, top committees, um, most viewed bills, most monitored bills. Um, you can definitely look around and play with all of those features as well. Uh, the feature that you're probably gonna be using the most is monitoring. Um, that's gonna be that first link on this menu up here. So what this page allows you to do is set which bills are gonna be at the top of your homepage. So these are the bills that you're really interested in, um, probably new in the legislative process, just been introduced or um, currently in committee and things like that. So you're really interested on where it goes. Um, to that extent, you can use the Legiscan search function, which is right here. You can set your state, or if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it gives you the option to do um, US Congress as well. If you have a bill number, you just put that in there. I've been tracking a bill called SB 1190 here in California. So that's the one I searched earlier. Um, if you don't have a bill number and you just kind of have a rough idea of what the bill title is or what the subject matter is, you can use the full text search, um, type in whatever may be relevant like healthcare, um, and it'll do a search based on the terms you set. Um, and if you're tracking a bill that's not from the current session, um, you can track it recent session, a, a earlier session, et cetera, through these functions as well. So using the bill um, SB 1190 as an example, when I type that in and I click search, it brought me uh, to the home page for that bill. So you know what the bill status is, um, who its sponsors were, um, what the history of it has been going through the assembly and the Senate. Um, and you can also um, get a close up on all the sponsors on the sponsors tab. So here's the bill title, here's the status right now. Um, do pass and we refer to committee is where this bill is. Uh, there's also a really useful feature where it'll list the bill sponsors as well as their Ballotpedia link. So you can click on these and it'll take you to a more detailed page about that particular legislator. Um, you can also view the text of the bill under the text tab. 
and it'll show you all the versions. Uh, so the version when it was first introduced uh, compared to the versions that have since been amended. Once it goes up for a vote, you'll be able to track the votes um, on any step of the process using the votes tab as well. Um, and research is just kind of more detailed information following uh, the progress of the bill through previous sessions, etc. cetera. Um, there is a public comment section, which you generally won't need. And then the monitor tab is um, how you'll select whether or not you want this bill on your main page. So I've selected monitor for this bill earlier, um, and I can uncheck it and it'll remove it. Uh, but right now it's one of my monitored bills. So when I'm going back to monitoring up top here, it's gonna be all of my monitored bills up front and center right here. Um, and when you select a bill, it'll also ask you what your stance on the bill is, whether you support, whether you oppose, whether you're still undecided. And that kind of keeps you up to date with um, updates in line with your position on the bill as well. And then let's say you use the full 25 feature um, you monitor full 25 bills and you want to search between those bills, you can filter. Um, so, uh, you know, depending on what house, whether it's the Senate or the House um, that's uh, introducing the bill, you can filter that way. If it's a bill or a resolution, you can filter that way. Um, you can also filter by where the bill is in terms of status. So SB 1190 is currently engrossed. Um, so it's going to show up under my engrossed tab. And then there's lots of other features which um, I won't get into. They're not going to be ultimately that useful for our purposes, um, but definitely search um, monitoring and setting alerts is gonna be the main thing. Um, and that's what this function is for as well, to search bills and choose ones to monitor. Um, there's also the alert function where you'll see right here and you can also access it on the left hand bar. Alerts just, if you want to avoid having to log into Legiscan on a regular basis, you can tell Legiscan that they should just email you. Uh, you know, you can choose to be emailed every day, um, every week, and what day of the week you want to be emailed on, and it'll give you a good rundown of any new updates around the bills that you're monitoring. Um, this is probably going to be the most useful function um, because it you know, if we regularly check our emails a lot more often, then we're probably going to check Legiscan. So if you just want to kind of set an alert and forget about it in Legiscan, Legiscan will take over and just email you on a regular basis. Those are the general functions. Um, you can feel free to look around and play around with any of the features. Um, I myself haven't gotten too deep into it, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the PWN policy team. Um, or, or to uh, Wahida or Ebony, et cetera, if you have any questions about using Legiscan, and I'll be happy uh, to walk you through that as well. Um, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.